Ladies and gentlemen, the most awaited moment has come for us to kick off the 22nd Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022 with our football events here at the IGS Kohima. The 17th of August 2022, we are a little behind time. Football being the most popular sport in the world and also in our state of Nagoya. We are very excited to be part of this event. Footballers, the officials, the fans, both here in the stadium and also online. Welcome to Nagoya Football Arena. As we kick off this edition of the football competition in this second Nagaland Olympic and Paralympic Games 2022, we have our special guest, Engineer Zale Nika, the Honorable Advisor, Youth Resources and Sports Nagaland. And also we have Sri Abu Mehta. The advisor to the Chief Minister, Nagalan, and also the Secretary, Gen Secretary General, Nagalan Olympic Association. Together with them, the officers from the department and from Football Fraternity of Nagalan, we welcome everyone to this great occasion. We will start our program with prayer by Dr. Vipo Sakiso, Director, Get Them Go, and I give the time to him. Let's all bow down our heads, close our eyes as I pray. Heavenly gracious Father, we come to you in the great heart. We want to thank you for this day. We want to thank you for this weather, pleasant climate for all of us. We have seen your gracious hands with us in all our preparation till this day. And as we come to this even, the entire communities are staying and being waiting for this moment and as we get into this day we want to thank you and we want to bless the event we also want to bless the organizing team the officials the athletes the players all of us together and as we get it this morning here I'd like to pray that the players will give the efforts that they will honor you with their talents. We also want to remind ourselves and acknowledge you this day that each one of us will create it uniquely with so much potential and talents. We thank you for all this. We will witness different talents in the following days. And we want to see your gracious hands with all of us. I pray that you will continue to grant us favorable weather. We also pray that you protect our environment, grant us peace as we continue with this event and look forward. We also would like to pray for the officials that they give their best bring the best game out of this in honor of FIFA that they will give fair to all their judgment. We pray that the locker rooms of the players will fill with joy and peace. We will see each player making a difference during this event. We just want to commit all of us to you once again. We also pray for the visitors 
that visitors will come to encourage, empower, inspire, motivate all of us together. And even as we continue with our inaugural function, I pray for all the speakers, that every participant will stand up here. I pray that your Holy Spirit will guide each one of them, that the words that come out from them will encourage, enrich, enhance, motivate, motivate and inspire all of us. Bless our event, bless the entire Olympic season. For this, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Viposa, for your blessings and prayers. We shall now have the unfolding of the NOA flag by Sri Abhimata, Secretary General, Northern Olympic Association. I now invite Sri K. Nibu Sekose, the president of Nagaland Football Association, to pronounce the welcome address. Respected Chairperson, my friend, Kolo Nero, Vice President, NFA, Honorable Advisor for Youth Resources and Sports, Respected Secretary General, Marilyn Olympic Associate and Ethan Fisher, Respected Secretary, Youth Resources and Sports, Dr. Viposa, Director, Dave Dengo, Sri Kutu Sekose, HR, Energetic and Printing Media, King Manager Team Holders, my colleague, NFA Office Bear, President and Secretary of the City Football Association, all official of the tournament, participants, ladies and gentlemen present. I am honored and privileged to welcome all of you on behalf of the organizing committee and Nagaland Football Association to the second Nagaland Olympic Games 2022 football event. I welcome our honorable advisor, Wires, Engineer Zaliat Mika, as a special guest. We are privileged by his presence on this event that made the day even more memorable. Thank you and welcome, sir. I also send my warm welcome to the Secretary General, MOA, Sri Abu Mehta, an official of MOA, Secretary and official of wires, invitees, and all the football lovers, official participants, and medias. Thank you for being a part of this prestigious tournament. Time has come for us to be together for joy and laughter, to show our best. Let us give what we can give. It doesn't matter. We are those keep the faith and spoke this straight high. Let the team be our strength. Let the game be our goal. Let the goal be to play the first game. Once again, I welcome all of you to the second Nagaland Olympic Games 2022. Thank you and God bless. We shall now have uh, Ms. Nurhemunyo Zatsu present us a very special song. Please come and take your time. Thank you, Nure Munio, for the beautiful song. I now invite our special guest, Engineer Zali Mika, Honorable Advisor for Youth Resources and Sports in Ireland, to deliver a short speech. Very good morning to you all. Just 
circuit of chairman, three follow bureau, the coordinator of, of organizing committee, and vice president NFF. Our advisor to honorable CM and also the Secretary General of Non and Normal People Association, Sri Abu Mirha, K. Nibu Shekhoche, the President of Non and Football Association, Sri Hiposa Kuso, Director of Tango, my department, wireless. Officials led by Wiz of Kate India, C3 Wireless. All the participating teams, officials, media friends present here, and ladies and gentlemen. At the very outset, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the Nalan Olympic Association for giving me this privilege to be your special guest in the annual function of the state's biggest ever sporting event. That is the second Nalan Olympic Paralympic Games 2022. Today, as we kick off our Olympic and Paralympic community here in Nigeria Stadium, I would like to I would like to convey my appreciation to all the participants of the 16 districts of Nagaland who is going to participate in varied discipline of sports. Olympic symbolizes the unity of athletes coming from each and every corner of the state to showcase their love for the game and make a standing ovation for the beauty of the game they play. The goal of the Olympic movement is to contribute to build a peaceful and better world by educating youth through sports, practice without discrimination of any kind through Olympic spirit, which requires mutual understanding with the spirit of leadership, solidarity, and culture. I was informed that about 4,000 athletes will be participating from all the 16 districts and will compete in 11 disciplines of sports, namely archery, athletics, badminton, basketball, boxing, football, long tennis, table tennis, taekwondo, shooting, and mushu. Football, being the main attraction of our people, which has been played in all the streets and villages of large and small. It is with no doubt that the football discipline is going far beyond our imagination and expectation. If we look into the legendary player such as Pelé, he had intense passion towards playing football, but his initial career in football was not as successful as we would have thought. Pele grew up in poverty and was earning extra money by working in tea shop as a servant. He was taught to play football by his father. The family could neither afford a ball nor their daily bread, and usually played with either a soft Pop stop with newspapers and tied with a string of a red suit. I want to 
express his life as an example to you. As like him, you too may not have a good starting career, but that doesn't define how your future career will be. As such, I want to convey all the participants that you should give your best and excel without losing confidence and disheartening. As like Pelé and other famous players, the ideas of Nagaland has determination, consistency, self-dependent with all good qualities to be a good sports person. But we never sports persons lack in sports fantasy. We never we carry a mindset where the person excels in one sport discipline. He or she boasts himself, herself, as being one of the best, and none can compete with him or her and remain in his or her comfort zone and loses the mentality to practice and improve further. This thinking creates a downfall and starts to blame others for his or her own defeat. As we never progress or rather, I would say we stop progressing, which keeps us behind from other states. If you secure a champion in any discipline in your village or area, then you should practice harder for district level, then for state level, and then national and international level. Even in the recent Commonwealth Games, our neighboring states have participated, but our state has no able person to be included in this mega event, which proves a clear view of where our state stands in sports. For example, if you are given an exam and you did your best, and unfortunately you couldn't clear it, then who do you get? Your parents, your teachers, or yourself? Do you take the responsibility upon yourself by being humble for not giving enough effort? Or do you blame others for your failure? Likewise, even for sports, when you are difficult, you should not blame any associations, departments, and the state government for poor infrastructure, unqualified quarters, etc. etc. Instead, you need to take your own responsibility for being defeated and you should work hard in the areas where you are left behind. It's like our legendary player, Dr. P.R. He gave his own, playing his barefoot, with no major support from the government, but through his wit, guts, determination and love for the game he lived for and has also excelled in his career not just in sports but even in the his studies by achieving his prestigious title of the tournament. I would like to convey to all the participants that your participation is a victory for the state as the most important thing in the Olympic game is not winning, but taking part, as it will boost your confidence and morality upon yourself that you are among the best to be able to participate in the Olympic. I pray that this Olympic and Paralympic game to be to will be a great success with God's grace on our side. And I once again convey to all the participants 
a very best of luck and may the best team win. Thank you, Tukmao. Thank you, sir, for being there and also for the words of encouragement and guidance to the football fraternity of Narva in this event. We shall now have the introduction of players to our special guests. And I request the two teams to please line up. Yes, all the best. 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 Yes,